In this video, I will not go into every setup detail. Instead, I want you to have hands-on experience with OpenFOAM so we can better understand the context as we progress. Before we dive in, let's quickly go over the essentials. OpenFOAM comes with standard solvers for various types of simulations. It also includes a tutorial folder containing example cases you can use to learn. Sometimes you may need custom solvers with custom equations or algorithm for specific cases, but we will start with basics. Most daily problems can be solved with standard solvers. You will need the tutorial folder for this exercise. You can check it from your OpenFOAM installation using this dollar OpenFOAM tutorials. But for certain setups like Docker, the, the tutorial folder might not be included. Don't worry, I'll share a link where you can manually download it, or you can easily search it on your search engine. Once downloaded, copy the tutorial folder to your preferred location where the OpenFOAM is, is, is installed. To keep the original tutorial folder un untouched, let's create a new folder for your project. We will call it My First Simulation. Now, let's copy a sample tutorial case to your project folder. We will use the case Incompressible Simple Foam Pitch Daily. Please note, the folder name might vary slightly depending on your OpenFOAM version, but the solver will be the same. Copy the zero constant and system folders from the tutorial case and paste it to your My First Simulation folder. These three folders make up the case folder. Here's a quick review of the folders. The zero folder contains initial and boundary conditions. Custom folder holds material properties, mesh data, and other constants. And the system folder contains files to configure simulation settings like solvers and time controls. We will dive into these details later as we progress. Okay, let's begin. If you are using Windows, open your Ubuntu WSL. If you are using Mac, activate Docker, open the terminal, and call OpenFOAM Docker.
let's find and open our case folder which is my first simulation folder with the terminal okay let's first create a mesh to generate a mesh run the command block mesh to view your mesh create a file with touch trial one dot form open para view then drag and drop trial one form into it or use the file menu to open it Change the display to surface width edges to see the mesh clearly. Now it's time to run your first simulation. Open the file System Control Dictionary to check your solver. You can use the command nano system control dict or open it manually from your file explorer. From this control dict file, we can see that the solver used is simplefold. While well, you are here, you can also check the end time setting to understand how many iterations the simulation, the simulation will run. Run the simulation with simple foam. Ensure you are in your case folder before running. It may take some time. It may be a couple of minutes, hours, or even days for complex simulation. Once the simulation completes, you can see a list of simulation result folders, indicating the simulation time, also known as time folders. Refresh your results in Paraview by updating the trial1.foam file. Here you can see some new results, including pressures, RP, velocity, and turbulent parameters. You can also change the time. Congratulations! You have su successfully run your first open foam simulation. Great job! It's not hard as you imagine, right?